record. Hi. Okay, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. I'm going to be doing the, I don't know, I look so crusty right now. I'm just like, whatever. I'm doing the APC All Purpose Systeme. Um, all Purpose Systeme 5% Cream. I'm going to guys give you guys a walkthrough. Some of you guys may, or, may have already seen my other um, Systeme product videos. So I'm going to continue that with this. So let's go ahead and start putting it on. So with Systeme, you have to put it on a dirty face. Um, so pretty much what that means, they say don't wash your face before you put it on. Just kind of put it straight on your face before you wash your face. Because it is so intense, it's very strong. Um, as far as oh, like vacuuming the house with my, my little robot vacuum, so it's kind of coming in here. Um, it's so strong, it can see through makeup even. They say like, even if you have on makeup, you can put it on over makeup. Like, that's how strong it is. So, putting it on, trying to avoid like around my eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna put it on and let it sit for 15 minutes. And I've also used the, um, what's the other system called? The Sphere system. To me, they are quite similar as far as what they do. I will say with the Sphere system, I was using that one. The Sphere system is a lot more expensive. And I will say that when I, when I was using the Sphere system system, I was actually, um, using it for the first time. So I, I did it the full 12 weeks straight through. Now doing the APC, I haven't been doing it straight through the full 12 weeks. I've just been, <laughs> i just been kind of doing it every couple of days, like whenever I remember to do it. But it definitely helps with lightening up melasma, hyperpigmentation. Both products really do a great job of breaking up um, melasma and dark spots in your face. So if you suffer from melasma, you notice that you tend to have like blotchy skin. Um, you tend to have like blotches of darkness as opposed to just like a hyperpigmentation, post inflammation, um, pimple, you know, a pimple spot as opposed to like having a pimple spot or a zit spot. If you suffer from melasma, you notice it's more like blotchiness, like blotches of dark skin on your face or, uh, you know, uncolored, not uncolored, um, different colored skin on your face. So that's what you notice. So with, um, <clears throat> yeah, with using this uh, uh, systemine product. It really, really does a great job of breaking that, breaking the blotches up and really kind of evening your skin out. Now, especially if you use the Assistamine product in addition to using retinol, I love using retinol. Those are the two products that I swear by that really change my skin. My hands are so ashy right now. I'm just like, you know, just getting them washing my face kind of thing. Anyway, but those two products really have done a number for improving my skin. Let me show you the retinol that I really like. So I have two of them. I ordered the, uh, a cream that's like a little bit not as intense, as intense, it's like a 0.5, 0 0.05% as opposed to the 0.1% that I usually use that I actually like a lot better. So hold on, let me show you. So this is the 0.05% retinoid that I got online. I just ordered it from, I think, um, the website's called Terra, T-A-R-A-S-C, like Terra Skincare. Google that if you care to find it. That's how, I, that's, that's why I got this from. I think I first heard about this from uh, It's My Ray Ray when she was talking about her acne issues and I kind of ordered from there. I order I ordered my products from the same website that she had mentioned that she got her retinol from and I really like that website. They have a lot of good like, like um, Trentinol, retinol products, hydroquinone if you're into that. They have a lot of different products that are really good for evening out um, uneven skin tone. Blotchy skin, melasma, all that stuff. This is the one that I prefer to use though. I've been using this one for a couple days. It's not really doing what I like it to do. I like for retinol to really kind of get down in there and flake that skin off. Like this one does that, just a lot slower. I'm impatient. I want it to be fast. So I like to use the 1%. The point zero, yeah, the point one. This is point zero five. This is point one. I like to use this one. It, again, it's very strong. Um, it's a, it's an active acid. It really seeps down into the lower levels of your skin. You cannot use it every day. You have to use this like every couple, you know, maybe every three days. You don't want to use it every single day. Now, I will say that when I um, have like kind of been off my skincare, like kind of lately, like I haven't been washing my face at night as of, as I need to. I'm gonna try. try. So I'm not going to say I'm going to try. I haven't been washing my face at night like I need to, in all honesty. I've been washing my face in the morning and then get home and go to sleep. I haven't been washing my face at night. When I've fallen off my skincare and I haven't been washing my face twice a day and therefore my skin feels like um, there's like a buildup, I notice like my skin's um, regular, my skin is regularly exfoliated as far as like when I wash it twice a day. It feels more supple. It looks, it just looks better. When I don't wash my face twice a day, I feel like my the, the skin's not rejuvenating as quickly. It doesn't look as fresh. As, as I like it to look. Um, so in those instances where I haven't been, you know, using my skincare like that, I can use retin the retinol a little bit more, a little bit more frequently because my skin is kind of thick. It's like it's it's thick at that point. It's thick. 
it can withstand a lot more acids because I haven't been doing them. So if I've kind of fallen off my skincare and I really want to get back into it, I will. Hold on, my, my robot comes back. If I haven't been doing my skincare consistently, I can use a lot more. I can use my acids a lot more regularly um, because I haven't been. My skin is like thickened at that point. I can try and break it. I can try and break down some of the dead skin cells faster. If that makes sense. So yeah, let's go ahead and let this um, finish absorbing into my skin, and I'll be back. Also, you guys, let me know if you want to see. Um, if you want to see, like me do the whole cycle, <laughs> you want me to do this for the full 12 to 16 weeks? Because again, I haven't been. I've just been doing it sporadically. So let me know if you want me to do the whole full 12 to 16 weeks and give you some updates, and I can do that. Okay, be back. Okay, so I am back. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. Let's just like turn here. Okay, so when you use the APC creams or the, uh, when you use a systemine cream product, you have to wipe it off first, then wash it off. Because like I said, we, you don't wash your face before you use it, before, before you use these products. So that is the process. I think what I'm gonna use to wash it off is just like this little crafted, handcrafted soap I got from Etsy. It's like a I think it's like a turmeric, it's some kind of turmeric soap bar. I don't know. You do not want to use um, warm water when you are doing skincare in general because especially if you're using actives and acids because it just will disrupt your skin barrier, it irritates your skin, it's too harsh. So you want to use like tip room typical water uh, to take products off. And just to wash your face, warm water can just make your skin feel irritated um, and agitated. You don't want to do that. Especially again if you're using actives and acids, you're already doing enough to exfoliate the top layer of your skin. You don't want to do something that's going to um, cause a reaction on top of that. Hot water is not going to cause a reaction but it definitely can make your skin more sensitive and more sensitized. Room temperature water, room temperature water. Go ahead and wash it off now using that bar of soap, this turmeric soap from Etsy. Nothing special. I'm just like on a journey to use of all the skincare products that I have. Um, then I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing after I get out of the shower. I'm not usually a fan of foaming soaps because it can dry your skin out, and I don't usually use a lot of foaming fo foaming uh, cleansing products. Um, this one doesn't foam too too much though. It does have a slight foam to it. Yeah, you know, a lot of products that foam can dry your skin out, and when you're already exfoliating your skin and already kind of using a lot of actives and things that can disrupt your skin barrier, you don't want to dry it out. Um, it's all about balance. With skin, you definitely want to make sure your skin is balanced. So when you're doing exfoliation, you want to make sure that you're doing your moisture, your moisture masks as well to keep your skin hydrated. Because again, balance. You can strip some of the skin away, but you do not want to have your skin being dry underneath. So you make sure that you use those moisturizing products as well. You want to wash your face for a full minute, 30 seconds to a minute. But I just usually say a full minute. So wash your face for a minute. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. And sometimes I use these little facial cleansing pads. They come with like an exfoliating side and the soft side. I just use the soft side. Get with room temperature water and get the soap off. Okay. So um, I'm gonna get in the shower really quick and then I'll show you the next step. Okay. So like I said, fresh out the shower. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I was talking about how important it is to keep your skin moisturized. So I'm gonna go with the Clinique, Clinique, Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Hydration Mask. I'm gonna use this as this my daily moisturizer. It does say overnight hydration mask. It's, the consistency of this product feels a lot like lotion to me. So I'm just gonna use it as a facial moisturizer. Keeping your skin balanced and moisturized is very important, especially when you're doing a lot of exfoliation, a lot of um, Use, using a lot of like um, acids, when you're using a lot of acids and things like that, it's very important to keep your skin hydrated. And this skin, this product is very hydrating, so I like to sometimes use this as a moisturizer, and that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to put on a good amount all over my face. So I'm going to let that sink in for five minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step. And then that's, uh, that's it. So I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes or maybe even more longer since I put the Clinique Moisture Surge product on to kind of seep into my skin as I did the moisturizer. Now I'm going to go in with two products by The Ordinary. This is The Ordinary Niacinamide plus Zinc. Zinc is really good for 
fighting um, acne, it's good for fighting bacteria on your face. So that's what zinc is good for. Niacinamide is also good for that. It's a blemish control formulation, that's what they say. Um, high strength vitamin and mineral blemish control. Um, niacinamide is good for reducing inflammation, also really good for acne. It helps to minimize your pore size, it's good for eczema, it's a really soothing product and it works really, really well. So yeah, I know it's one of the, like, the new hot products kind of on the market, but it also works really, really well for like different skin concerns and different skin issues that you may have. On top of that, I'm going to go with the um, Alpha Arbutin by The Ordinary. I like to use these terms together because they have almost the same formulation. They feel like the same product. They, the formulation feels the same and they play well together, so I use them together. I use like a, um, a dropper full of each, Alpha Arbutin 2%. It's a concentrated serum with 2% alpha butin and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is really good for moisture, bringing moisture into your skin. Like I keep saying, it's all about balance. You want to make sure that your skin is moisturized and that you're doing your exfoliation. So you want to make sure that you have moisture in your skin and that you're exfoliating the top layer. These braids look crazy. So yeah, like I said, it's really important to make sure that you're moisturizing your skin, that you're having a good balance between exfoliation and moisture. So hyaluronic acid is good for pumping up your skin. It draws a lot of moisture into your skin. So yeah, that's good. And then Alpha Arbutin is also good for um, dark spots. It's really good for breaking up dark spots. It's good for melasma, hyperpigmentation, all that. Because it really does break down those pigment, break down the pigment and kind of, you know, it helps it to even out. So it's not so blotchy in one spot. It really helps to break them down so, like, your skin tone can be more even over time. With continued use, of course. So, we're going to use a little bit of bow. One. I'm kind of bored with my skincare at the moment because I don't have any new products to use. I'm using the same stuff. I'm just trying to get rid of it. So, putting them all on together. And these are serums. They feel really, really nice on the skin. Both of them do. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this sink in for five minutes. And then I'll be on to the next step. Alright, now I'm going to go to the next and final step. Uh, final step is actually sunblock, but I never do sunblock on camera. But, this is because I'm always rushing. Got to go! Got to go! So, make sure you put your sunblock on. Okay, very important. Protect your skin. You have to put some love on. I have the black girl sunscreen in here. I have sunscreen sticks. I have sunscreen sprays. I don't have sunscreen powders, but apparently they work really well too. But sunscreen, make sure after you put your last product on, which I'm going to use this one, then you um, go ahead, wait five minutes, put your sunscreen on before you go outside. Do as I say, not as I do, because I'm probably about to put this on in the ash. Anyway, so this is my last product. This is the Admire My Skin Ultra Potent Brightening Serum with 1% Synovia, which is um, similar to hydroquinone in that it breaks up your skin. Um, Blotches on your skin, but um, research so far shows that it does not seep into your blood your bloodstream the same way that hydroquinone does. So, kojic acid, azelaic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, vitamin C, all these things are good for fighting acne and hyperpigmentation. We all know a lot of hyper hyperpigmentation comes from acne, so that's why a lot of these products like the salicylic acids in here to kind of fight acne. And a lot of the other ones, Kojic, Azelaic, Lactic, those are really good for keeping your, your skin layer. Those um, products are really good for keeping the top layer of your skin exfoliated and also breaking down um, forms of pigment that have been kind of clustered in one area. And then vitamin C is known to, vitamin C is kind of thrown in there. I don't think vitamin C does much for my skin, but apparently it's good for brightening skin, brightening skin, so. But yeah, I like this product that's like a tan color or a brown color. And just use one pump of it. Ooh, it's watery. There you go. Yeah, just put one pump. I like this product. It really does feel like it's doing something. <laughs> and this is my last product. It's going to like That is my last product. That's my full daytime skincare routine. Uh, I kind of honestly I use these products day and night. I know that sometimes people say don't use active during the day. I haven't had an issue. As long as you put your sunscreen on, make sure your skin's protected. There's, there's no issue with using active during the day. Not at all. So th th those are the products that I use today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Maya. Thanks for your time, guys. Bye for now.